I'm in shock right now. I'm just glad that uh, my kids weren't swimming, you know, or didn't have family over uh, out here barbecuing on a Saturday. You know? A scary situation earlier today as a small plane crashed into a pool in Centralia, Illinois. There were two people inside the plane. One died and the other airlifted to a St. Louis hospital. Now, five on your side, Elise Shonek joins us in the studio with what we know so far. This is a really ridiculously scary situation where that plane crashed. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, you know, Monica, you'd think on a really warm summer weekend like today, anyone would be out in their pool trying to stay cool. Well, Brad Hutchinson said for whatever reason, he and his family were not in their pool or their home today. And he says thankful doesn't come close to describing the feeling that they weren't. It's dead silent and then a big boom. That big boom was a Saturday morning Brian Hutchison would never forget. Looked over, seen a plane sitting in my swimming pool. A small plane was just one mile from its landing at the Centralia Municipal Airport when it took a turn for the worst. After hearing the crash, Hutchison sprung into action and called 911. They just kind of asked what was going on and I just pointed them in his direction and they went to work instantly. The fire department says the passenger died and the pilot was airlifted to a hospital in St. Louis. I still can't believe it. I'm in shock right now. I'm just glad that uh, my kids weren't swimming you know, or didn't have family over. And Hutchison was left with too many terrifying thoughts of what ifs throughout the process. Honestly, I think if everyone like my wife would have been home the hot day, I would have been not working nights. It could have sadly been something different, but thank God for that. Living just north of the airport, he says it's hard not to fear this happening again. Now, now it's in the back of your head, you know. And it's still not clear what caused that crash just yet. Officials have also not yet released the name of the person who died, and the FAA, FAA is still investigating this. All right.